In 1993, authorities found Norma Helmick's body in the flood-swollen Osage River with a concrete block tied to it. Investigators pointed the finger at her son, Dale, and three years later, a judge sent him to prison for the rest of his life. Right at first when I went to prison, I was, uh, I was real angry. Uh, I, it was even hard to talk on the phone. I pretty much screamed in the phone. Finally realized that, uh, that th this here is not going to get me anywhere. I need to settle down, um, come up with a plan, and stick to it. More than a decade went by before Helming was able to convince people of his claim of innocence. Last year, a judge reviewing the case in DeKalb County, where Helming was serving time, decided prosecutors and law enforcement officers had withheld evidence and presented false testimony at Helmick's trial. They twisted the facts. They uh, lied, flat out lied on the witness stand. I think, uh, you know, a lot of that happens in uh, the prosecutorial misconduct and I've said it before, it would be nice if, if they were held accountable for their actions. And I just don't think they are right now. Just before Christmas, Helmig was finally released from prison after posting a $5,000 bond. Since then, he has spent time with his family and looked for work. Got a hold of my children and went and uh, ate, ate dinner with them and spent some time with them. And then even though it was still pr pretty cold, we had a pretty rough winter, me and my brother still... Uh, got out and did some crappie fishing. While no longer behind bars, Helming was not a free man. The state filed an appeal to reverse the judge's decision to let him out of prison. But the Missouri Court of Appeals sided with Helming, and then the Supreme Court did the same. The case went back to Osage County, where the prosecutor last week decided to dismiss the charges against Dale Helming. It's like happy days again, you know, everything's, um, it's, it's lifted off of me, you know, and, Prosecutor Amanda Grellner cautioned that there is no statute of limitations for murder. She could refile the charges, but that would require new evidence. I didn't do the crime, so I know they, they, they can't come up with anything unless it would be manufactured evidence like it was the first time. Helmig now wants simply to get his life back to the way things were before his mother was killed. Lucas Bond, KRCG News.